I'm Alex Berman. I've been a comp lawyer for over 35 years. I'm currently the president of the Workers' Compensation Lawyers Association, and I want to discuss some red flags that you should be aware of. The first one is a letter from the insurance carrier or the employer scheduling you to see an IME or an independent medical evaluator. These are doctors that are hired by the insurance carrier or the employer. It's their job to find a way to cut off your benefits or reduce them. And truthfully, these doctors are paid vast sums to find absolutely nothing wrong with people. The second red flag that you should be aware of is when you receive a letter from the insurance carrier or the employer to see a vocational expert. The main purpose of this vocational expert is to find you partially disabled. If they find you partially disabled, which means that there are jobs out there that you could do, even though those jobs may not actually be available to you, and even though you are not on those jobs, you would be considered partially disabled, and as a result, your benefits could be reduced. The third red flag is a change in the way you receive your weekly comp checks. You'll receive your check on the same day every week or every other week, and then all of a sudden, your checks are late, and you have to start calling, um, and they tell you that, uh, oh, uh, we sent it out, or there's a problem with our computer. This is usually a sign that something may be going on, and you should be concerned about that as well. The fourth red flag is when you're assigned a nurse case manager. The law states that the nurse case manager is hired by the insurance carrier or employer to help you to get better. But very often, uh, they're more interested in helping the workers' comp carrier than you. The next red flag is a change in the attitude of the adjuster. Usually when you have a claim in the beginning, the adjuster will be friendly and cooperative, but at some point you may notice a change in their behavior. They may not be returning your phone calls, ignoring your emails. They may not be as nice as they were. They may even be insulting. If you notice this change in the uh, attitude of the adjuster, then this is something you should be concerned about. If you recognize any of these, please call me. We're here to help you. We'll make sure that you're not taken advantage of and that your benefits are protected and make sure that you get everything that you're entitled to.